Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to another video with the electrical guide. Today, I want to show you how to identify cables, whether you're looking at something in your ceiling or your wall, wondering what it is, or maybe you just want a better understanding of how to identify cables. I'm going to show you today. So let's get into it. Today, we have a cable here. We don't know what it is yet, but we can always check on the jacket of the cable. So here we have a CSA approved. AWG American wire gauge size 14 copper two conductor NMD non-metallic sheathed 90 degree nylon Romex cable so it's a size 14 the number that follows AWG will be the size you got copper CU is the material and then you have the number of conductors usually next and then the temperature rating so let's check out a different cable Okay, here we have a cable connected to a stove plug and we can check on the cable jacket as well that this is a number 8 AWG 3 conductor NMD non-metallic sheath 90 degree nylon cable good for 300 volts and we lose the rest there but you can see that it's printed on the exterior of the cable and if we kind of look around the jacket a little bit farther along, it's not printed consistently, but perhaps every couple feet, you can see that we're starting to get more printing here as we get towards the end of the jacket again. So you should just be able to kind of search your cable to find the writing, it'll be on there somewhere, like so. Let's check out a different one. So here I've actually got an extension cord and you can see that this also has writing on the cable. In this case, we got an SJTW, good for wet locations. We've got 3C, that's three conductor, 12 gauge, 12 AWG, good for 300 volts, two plus 60 degrees Celsius. And our CSA stamp should be on here somewhere, there it is. CSA approved. So that's even on an extension cord. So this is like an outdoor uh, extension cord, good for wet locations. Of course, this should be on a GFI. Let's check another cable. Okay. We've got a Tech 90. We've got FT1 fire rating to FT4, XLPE, good for negative 40 degrees two conductor, 14 AWG, so size 14, good for 600 volts with a sun resistance. When our CSA stamp, we even have the date that this was manufactured, which is pretty cool. So this is also good for outdoor applications. We've got the sun resistance, which is really important. And we've got to negative 40 degrees. Let's check out another cable. Okay, so here I've got another Tech 90, Northern Cables Inc, 3C, that's three conductor, number six, AWG, aluminum. This is an aluminum now. And we know that it's stranded, because it says strand here. And that's the end of the cable there. We can confirm that is indeed aluminum. So we can see even if it's an aluminum example, it should say ALU or AL at the very least. Let's check one last cable. Okay, here we've got a pretty big one. I'm put this down, clean it off a little. Made in Canada. This is a little harder to read on this one. We got a Tech 90 XLPE number six AWG. Good for 1,000 volts, negative 40 degrees, FT4 fire protection. So there's a lot of information on this. It's a lot harder to read and it's spread out over a significant length of this cable all the way from back here, way back here, all the way around to kind of over here where my thumb is, is all that same writing. So there's lots of information on this one as well. 
So I hope you learned today that basically every cable has an identifier on it of what it is and what size it is. Thanks for watching another video with the electrical guide.